Guys, Portable is so talented and we have to talk about it. Portable is trying to drop a song for Sida called Sida Bobuje. That song is really trending on social media and I love the way Portable is responding to a lot of persons on social media. And I think this guy is regulating the social media space in Nigeria. He did to Bob Risky, now to Sida and a lot of people. And I think we have to really, really appreciate Portable for trying trying to sanitize Nigerian social media space at a time like this. That is what it is. I want you guys to catch a glimpse. Guys, what are your own takes? Because a lot of people are now responding on social media saying that Portable was not supposed to, you know, kind of respond to this person because this guy or this lady is so young and all those kind of things. Nobody within this social media space. But whether you like it or not, she is really, really influencing a lot of Gen Z's ladies. And now we have epidemic on our hand. Right now, a lot of people on hookup are being used, you know, some organs being harvested. This is owing to the fact that many people are saying that if a guy does not have 20 million, you should not really come out and date the guy. Those ladies saying all those things, I see them as people that are opportunists. I see them as people that don't like to really, you know, kind of take life with their own hands. They think that, uh, you know, being wealthy is sexually transmitted. That is what uh, many thought of uh, some ladies. And I think I have to address that on another video. But right now, Portable is trying to sanitize the social media space and we have to, you know, kind of support him at a time like this. What is really wrong? A Kenya socialite Vera Sidika throws lavish divorce party as her marriage to singer Brown Mauzo hits the rock after three years. That is what is really trending out on social media. Why I am saying this or I'm talking about this is uh, based on what a lot of people are really talking about on social media in the comment section we find a lot of ladies say congratulations to her and all those kind of things. It's like throwing a lavish party where your kids or where you fail in an exam. That is something a lot of people need to actually understand with, with all of this. I think if you're not paying her, she not go thrown lavish party. She just trying to paint off uh, some kind of things as if she is happy. But behind closed door, I think she's having a lot to regret. She's having a lot of pains beneath. And I think the world is really getting upside down based on the things I'm seeing right now trending out on social media and how people are taking some actions let's catch a glimpse and see what uh, people are really talking about <laughs> What are your own takes about this? Do you feel that this is really right in a sane society? I want you to put that in the comment section because a lot of uh, single ladies right now are congratulating her. You know, people are quick to celebrate you when you lose your marriage, when you lose your relationship, when you lose good things. That is what I'm saying right there. I think this is out of pains. You know, a lot of people, they have different pains and they need to work on it. It's really affecting to an extent. Many people don't really want to agree that Davido has found peace in Choma at a time like this. Davido is building up a family in the US and that is the best decision Davido has made concerning his family at a time like this. Uh, taking Choma to US and then, you know, starting a the family there is better decision because 
that was really going to affect Shoma at the time because a lot of people were having too much access to Shoma and through JVDO and the rest. But right now, JVDO is you know cooling off in US with Shoma and having a big time. They went out at a recent event and then they had a big dance with themselves and people were really jealous of this kind of relationship. Remember that the likes of Davido and Choma, they've actually invested in that relationship and been through a lot. Even the dragons on social media, even some people coming out to blackmail Davido and say a lot of things about that. Even some baby mamas now praying and making evil wishes against Davido and Choma. That is really really big for them i think they are now successful in their relationship and now we have to stay with them and help them through this period because they've been through a lot we have to say our prayers for them we should allow the video to build a better family that he wants with Choma and then allow them to always have a good time with themselves. Let's talk about Davido's sixth studio album that is going to be one of the biggest at a time like this. Davido has actually dropped two songs. These songs are hitting up the clubs and many people are really responding to them at a time like this. This is Yebo with TXC of uh, you know South Africa and that is Aman Piano and that is a big sound and Davido was really happy to announce that on social media and posting a snippet of that video and then it's gone viral so far many people are really responding to this let's catch a glimpse of that <laughs> What can you say out of this? I think the video sounded so hard in that song. That is a party song or a club song right now. And it's getting to the clubs and a lot of people are really responding to that. But remember that the video has said that after his sixth studio album, he's going to retire from music. Do you think the video is going to take a break from music? Because one time he said that he was born for music. Maybe he's going to take a break from music and focus on raising a better family with Choma. That is what many people are really suspecting at a time like this. Also, David having a collaboration with um, Chris Brown is also a big one. Chris Brown is now speaking broken. That is something, or pidgin English, that is something you need to understand about this whole thing that is trending out on social media. They have a song together and the music video is already out and people are dancing and responding to that. What can you say about that song? I wanted to put that in the comments the new face of Afrobeat Nigeria is already set right now. A lot of people are going to be phased out of Afrobeat right now. We have the likes of Rema, the likes of Omale, the likes of Irasta, Thames, a lot of others actually having a grip of the music industry in Nigeria right now. And these guys are going to take over from the likes of Bonner Boy, Whiskey, and Davido. Already, many people are saying that Rema is among the big four. Do you think Rema is a big four? For me, I think Rema is a big four based on the good feat he has achieved within a short period of time. Another question we need to ask ourselves is, do you think Afrobeat is going to be in good hands? after the video whiskey and Bronner boy put your own opinion in the comment section many people have been asking are we raising the standard of afrobeat in nigeria or lowering the standard that is the question many people are trying to answer i think we are really raising the bar right now based on the recent global achievement of most of our artists the likes of rema the likes of irasa terms these guys are really raising the bars for the next generation and that is going to be a big click for them what are your own takes about this i want you to put it in the comment section so that you can talk about it further do you know that davido and burner boy understands the game better than whiskey these guys are really everywhere and they don't tends to fade out soon. That is what I kind of understand because they are jumping on remixes of beats from beat to beat, working hard in the studio, but a person of Whiskey relaxed a bit and that really took a toll on uh, Whiskey. But this time around, he said he's going to drop his seventh studio album. A lot of people are really waiting for that seventh studio album. He called it Morayo and dedicated it to his late mom. All right, drop your comment in the comments session so that we can talk about it for that if you are not subscribed click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon